but uh, they, they're doing pretty well. In this next piece, um, again, we learned the right hand separate from the left hand. So the left hand, we, we started doing our fingers and things like that, but now on the right hand, since the right hand is new, they need to concentrate over here. So we go back to just the open strings, the D and the A string. So here we have mirror image.
I got started with the string project through Dr. Lieber. Um, I view it as a work study and I love working with kids, so it really is a pleasure and I thoroughly enjoy it. And what do you do? Um, I help teach kids just kind of one on one during the class, but more recently I've been doing the conducting and, and teaching while Dr. Weaver does my job. So it's been really nice and definitely a great learning experience. I'm just kind of an extra set of hands where he needs to help him get instruments, tuning, all that extra stuff. So he needs some extra hands every now and then. Uh, the String Project is actually part of the String Project Consortium, which is nationwide. And um, we're not part of it yet because we don't have a master teacher on board. But um, the idea came from the String Project Consortium. And what that is, is teaching elementary kids how to play stringed instruments and then preparing them for middle school and uh, also for the youth orchestras in the area. Right now it's organized through the office at North Creek University. It is, I am the uh, program director for it and it's organized through me and then it's run by students really because uh, Emma is a music education major and she's learning how to teach strings and she's learning how to conduct and do all these things and she's learning it while she does it. So she, by the time she graduates she'll have four years of teaching experience under her belt. Where does all the funding come from for the project? The funding comes from various sources. Um, I get paid a little bit for it. I get a, I get a load from North Greenville to teach it. I get, and then uh, some of the funding has come from the CRO, and then a little bit of funding comes from the Metropolitan Arts Council downtown as well. Uh, we get some donations through the website from parents who are willing to give a little bit, and uh, through those three or four sources, we're able to run a pretty good program. How many students do you have involved in the program? Right now, uh, we have 19 students involved at Mountain View Elementary School and we'll probably hopefully maintain that number through the end of the semester, uh, next semester, and then uh, we'll open up another class in the fall. So in the fall, this class will continue, and then we'll open up another class and hopefully have about 20 to 30 students in that class as well. Do the students have their own instruments, or how does that work? Most of these students have their own instruments. Um, we have one or two who are, have loaners from the String Project program. Uh, those uh, project instruments were donated to us and we have bought a couple through the CRO funding that we've received. Um, but many of the students are renting instruments, uh, their parents are renting and then they will step up and uh, have their eventually purchase an instrument with their rental, per with their rental uh, funds. Thank you.